guys, Caroline here, and today we are going to be planning for the end of our fraction unit. Now, if you missed planning for the beginning of our fraction unit, don't worry. This video is the one you're gonna watch, walking you through my first week of fraction instruction with my third graders. Today, however, I'm going to hone in on what I'm going to be doing at the end of my unit before I give my end of unit test. Grab your planner, your favorite set of pens. I'll bring the resources. Time to plan a PBL for my fraction unit. First things first, I'm just gonna lay out a few things that I do when it comes to planning. I plan with a happy planner. I am an avid flare pen user, and I always start by writing in the things I know for sure. Now, I don't know if this makes you happy, but I am the absolute happiest when a test falls on a Friday, and that is where I am at in this week. My unit test for my fraction unit is gonna fall on that Friday. Now, my instruction is actually going to be wrapping up on this Monday. So I know I have my fraction test on Friday. I'm doing my last bit of fraction work with comparing fractions in this Monday lesson, which means I have four days really of small group where I can work to review with my students. Now I know these three whole group lessons, this is where I'm gonna hit my review really hard. So on Tuesday of this week, I'm just gonna review basic fraction concepts. That includes things like representing fractions, the language of fractions, the models we've learned, all of those goodies I'm gonna hit in this lesson. The next day, I'm going to focus on reviewing equivalent fractions and comparing fractions. And then on my last review day, one of our third grade standards is mixed numbers and improper fractions. So that is what I'm going to hit on each of my review days. And I know what you're thinking, three days of review, y'all, this is a month of instruction. Some of these concepts my students haven't seen in weeks. So I really love to take the time to review everything, take the moments to catch those last few little missing pieces to make sure students are ready for my test on Friday. Now, let's get into the fun. Let's look at what I'm gonna be doing in small groups this week to help my students get ready. And I'm sorry, but it's gonna make you hungry. To review before our unit test on Friday, I'm going to be using this so fun project-based learning activity with my students. Now, there are so many ways you can use a PBL in your classroom, but I'm going to be using this one in small group. That way I can really make sure that I am very aware of how students are doing, the progress they are making, and areas that they need any final bits of support before our test on Friday. If you're looking for other ways to use this, don't worry. Later on, I'm gonna give you some other options. But let's take a look at the PBL. It's called Sprinkles Cafe, and students are gonna be running the coffee and bakery cafe and using all their fraction knowledge. So my first day, I'm gonna be doing two of the activities with each of my small groups actually gonna be on this Monday following my comparing lesson, which is perfect because there is a lot of comparison involved in each of the days. So on this day, I'm gonna do Crispy Treats, which has students working with Rice Krispie Treats and answering word problems connected to them. And then I'm going to do the Donut Decorating. I told you these are going to make you really, really hungry. I think the way I'm gonna have this prepped for my students, I'm just gonna have a packet for every student stapled together, it's gonna to stay at my table. So each day when they come to me for their small group, I'll have their packet there and ready to go. So those are the first two activities that I'm going to use on Monday for my small groups. Tuesday is gonna be great because in this lesson, we're really reviewing a lot of our basic concepts and these activities are really gonna reinforce those concepts in small group. Students are gonna be doing cupcake decorating and I love that this is truly a two-part activity. They do page one and then it launches them into questions on day two, which is also really fun because these questions are based on how they decorate their cupcakes. Now, to make the ease of this activity even better for my students, I am going to have crayons and colored pencils at my table ready to go. 
That way no one has to leave to go get things and use up that valuable time when they're working with me. So Tuesday's activities are going to be the cupcake decorating. All right, that leaves us ready for Wednesday. Now, Wednesday's activity does come with two versions and I'm actually going to be utilizing both of them in the classroom. There's a easier version and a more challenging version. And I love that all of our PBL resources come with that built-in differentiation for some of the activities. I'm going to be using the more challenging version for my students that I know are ready for that extension. And I'm going to be using the less challenging version for my students who are still developing these skills. So Wednesday's work is always going to be about setting up the display case. All right, Wednesday's ready to go. Thursday's review might be my favorite one. For me, this is falling the day before I assess. So this is really my last chance to touch base with my students and see what they can do with fractions in the small group setting. Both of today's activities are all about making those coffee orders as they come in. And I think these are going to be so much fun. I'm really looking forward to this. This one I think is really neat because it's utilizing those fractions on a number line, but in a really inventive way. If you feel like your students are going to need support in this, I would just take a little pencil and draw the lines for them. Go ahead and segment the cups based on what they're gonna need for the fractions in the ingredients. These are gonna be the perfect way to really get one final look at what my students can do with fractions. So Thursday's activities are gonna be all about the drink orders. It looks like my week is already shaping up to be a great one. I have lots of strong review built in and great real world connections for my students that I'm gonna be able to support them with in small group. My students are gonna love this and I'm gonna love this too. I think this is gonna give me an excuse to get coffee almost every single morning that week on my way to school. All right guys, I'm feeling really ready to use this PBL in my classroom to help my students review all of their skills leading up to our assessment. All I have to do is send the pages off to get copied. Hopefully my mom will copy them for me this week when she comes to help out in the classroom. Now, if that doesn't sound like the best way for you to use this resource with your students, don't worry. There's so many different ways you could successfully use this in your classroom. I love using PBL activities, but honestly, I use each one a little differently based on the subject and my student needs. It does come as a printable packet, so an option is to just print the pages you want your students to complete, staple them together, and send them off to do the work also great to do as partner work or small group work. You could put each page into a station as your math rotation for that week. You could also use them as kind of warm-up activities for your math lesson. Work through a page together before jumping into your content for the day. No matter which way you're going to use it, that's our big suggestion. Use it in a way that's going to best work for you and your students. If you're looking for this PBL activity, I have it in two locations where you can grab it. Spot number one is within our third grade fractions math unit. Now, this unit comes with everything you need to teach your entire unit of fractions. I'm talking all of it, unit fractions, equivalent fractions, fractions of a whole number, comparing fractions. This guy does it all and the PBL is included within this resource as a bonus activity. Now, if you just want the PBL, you can also grab it in our Teachers Pay Teachers store with all of the resources that I showed you in today's plan with me. Thanks so much for planning with me today. Let me know down in the comments, what do you wanna plan with me next? I still have quite a few weeks of my school year left, so who knows what we're gonna get into in the next few weeks. If there's something you're looking for, let me know down below. If you're not already, please make sure you are subscribed. We put out new content every single week, and I would love to have you join our community here on YouTube. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you have a not-so-wimpy day. Bye.